previously I made a stream. This stream is basically going to inform Nintendo Switch players how to play the game. I'm not going to go too in-depth because I really want to do videos about certain forms of guns, or which ones you should pick and stuff like that. But I am going to do a rundown on certain things. Now, right now you see that I got the P2020 and the R301. I'm playing as, as Pathfinder. Let me clear everything out for you guys real quick and run down every legend right now. That's pretty good on my opinions, but for people who are starting, this is the only people they're going to get. Um, just a couple more seconds. Give me a little bit. All right, so I wanted to redo this because last stream was whatever. So I'm going to get in my mind right now and where we're at right now. Time is March 8th. Where a day before Nintendo Switch gets Apex launched. And I really wanted to take my time and talk to the new players who are really, really curious to know how to play this game. So I'm gonna do a rundown uh, right now. So basically, loot, you already know how loot works. This is just like an everyday thing. If you watch videos, you know how it goes. I'm gonna go through the legends of what we go through on the OG character list which would be bloodhound to wraith bangalore to mirage that's the only characters you'll start off with caustic you'll have to buy and mirage in the beginning but um i'd skip them for the time being for the people who you have to pay for is caustic to crypto revenant to fuse so if i'm gonna buy anybody ahead of time out of these 10 characters i think octane and revenant are valuable um, unless if you like stealing loot, Loba and Crypto and Caustic, but recently he's gonna get nerfed. I would go Revenant, Octane, Crypto, or Loba. Those four, to me, are valuable. I mean, Watson's another one. Don't get it twisted. She's really good too. Um, but just my opinions, those are the just four worth it if you're a single solo player type person. Now, if you like to play with players, Watson, Crypto, Horizon, and I mean, I think I'd say Fuse, but I'd pick Rampart over Fuse. Um, but that's who I'd say you'd you'd pick out of those legends. I just you know grind for free type, unless you want to get the Champions Edition and just buy them all out. I don't think you'd get Fuse, but you can do that too. That's, Wasting money on, at that point, unless you don't want to waste money and get it for free, just grind out. It's worth it that way. I've earned every character that you see on here for free. I did not purchase none of them. Only thing I purchased is skins, and that's it. Um, but we're going to be going through the, the weapons right now that are basically OP to really good. Um, I'm gonna start with light ammo. Give me a second. Somebody just came on the chat. Thank you for coming by But yeah, I'm gonna start with the light ammo So out of assault rifles the best assault rifle of light R301 is here. R301 right here, which is the best you can hit fire and ADS pretty good. It just shreds overall. I mean, I'm just gonna give you a little brief of an example that's a shit aim, but let's just say you had, you know, extended clip right there. You aim it down on that person, you're going to shred them, you know, from mid to close. It doesn't matter. If you're really good at aiming ADS, your bullets, and you like to pace sometimes, then you're going to really kill people with that. A second is the R99, which I'm going to show a little. This thing shreds. Look at that. It was one clip. I didn't have to pick it up. Another one that does the same damage as the R99 feels similar is this one. Just barely has bullets, but you'll see why. Forgive my aim, but you get the adjust. It shoots really good. We have the P2020, one of the pistols. If you like to base your shots and you like to like snipe them because these really hurt. That was only five bullets. I almost took out the entire mag right there. I mean, the entire shield right there. 
give you a second because my like, freaking thing is not popping up. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Will the devil come down to, to Nintendo? I'm not sure. That's a pretty odd question. This is another one, the G7, which is like an assault sniper, marksman type of gun, which you just aim down and it shot. And it will kill. I really like to face your shots and predict the shots. These are basically all light. I'd say I chose the R99, R300, R3 and this one would be really starting. They make it a lot easier to kill people. Um, it's really good at aiming and just going down on people. Uh, we're gonna go with the heavy. Heavy we got is R30. I mean the 3030 repeater, Wingman. Spitfire, Hemlock, and Flatline. For, for beginners, I'd say Flatline right flatline here. here. It looks just like that, and Spitfire. Just because um, this is overpowered, I'm helping you out here. But they're going to nerf this one. You can do that. I'm pretty sure y'all are going to like figure that out for yourselves. And then, when ours, when ours Apex can it? Exit to switch. When is it coming? It depends on your time zone. I'm not sure for you, but for me, I would be arriving around 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. And I'm in Eastern time zone. <clears throat> but let me get back onto this. So for like newcomers and everything this one right here it's crazy like there's certain guns i just you can do and the flatline is basically a smaller version of it i'd rock with it the wingman is pretty skillful there's a little bit of skill behind it so that's why I'm, i'd pick over pick the flatline and the r300 over all these ones of the flat but this one right here hemlock is is golden pretty good if you like to single fire you can really do damage look at that you taste your shots that's ridiculous right there then you got the wingman which if you're up close and personal with this you to take headshots and taste your stuff you're gonna kill them unless if you are spammer you're gonna do that and you're gonna miss every shot and possibly die so it requires more skill so that's why i'm like recommend Recommending the ones that are easy to do are all well, I keep saying R3030 uh, the 3030 repeater Another one that you have to be skillful with The double tap to the head sometimes if you charge I Will not recommend going close up with this. This is something you stay away Unless you're skilled like I said Give me a second. I'm, getting... I'm in French, so I don't know give me a second. I did do a comment on my last video, it does have some of the timelines. I will read them to you right now. Give me a couple seconds. And I'll be looking up. Just grab my phone. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bear with me for the people who are watching the after stream. Okay, so, like I said, 12 p.m. my time, uh, CST 11 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m., and 5 p.m. GMT. Those are the one time zones that I know that when it's launching. Majority of the time, Nintendo is going to do the launches, but, like, I don't know between Nintendo and EA how they talk that out because... EA is a different company. They do a different things other than Nintendo. So right now we got the snipers right here. We got the Sentinel. Which one's going to be easier to use? I'd say the triple take. 
It's just like a shotgun. You can just hit fire this all the time. Ridiculous. Look at that. You can do damage too. And if you hold your shots and wait, you do extra damage. It's just like a shotgun. Powerful. You got these attachments will really help. I love to not use any ACOG scopes with, with the triple take. It's just me. But if you are somebody who just loves to run and gun with it, that's that's why I go with the triple take. Um but if you really like sniping, the longbow DMR and Sentinel is one way to go. But it requires skill. So not everyone's gonna have that or the drive to actually come and shoot and pace all their shots. That's why I'm recommending the triple take of triple all take these here. snipers right here. Um, then we'll, let's let's give some gameplay to Sentinel. Sentinel's another one. I love the Sentinel. You can be up close with it if you want. And just shoot. But it also requires skill. That's why I'd pick the triple take triple above take all snipers for the newbies. Now we're going to the energy, which is L Star, Havoc, Devotion, and Vault. Basically, all these is easy friendly. Like I'm gonna just show you for one instance what makes this gun easy friendly. It's just you can leave it. It's just like the R300 that I showed you earlier. You just laser. Hey, it it's really fucking hard. It just does. And excuse my profanity, but I am another L star. This is crazy, but there's a time to it before it heats up. And you got the Havoc, which makes it good if you have certain attachments, which the turbocharger right here, here. Turbo charger. will make it shoot faster. And it just melts. Overall, all energy based weapons are gonna melt. Uh, and then we got the devotion, which will take the same type of hop up. And you just know that he would have been died if my aim was better. You see? That shit is just amazing. Now we're going to the heirloom type weapons, which is the Peacekeeper, Prowler, and Craver. They're all good. Now, depending on your skill, like I said, Craver, it's all skill. One tap to the head. Let's go for a body shot. Nah, that one's already. It's always one tap to the head. That's the Craver right there. Then you got the Prowler, which is the best gun, basically. You can hit fire. Ridiculously, hits hard like a truck. You can ADS as well. But if you like your burst option, which always comes like this, then there's there's that right there. I say if you have a drop and that is right there in front of you, pick it up. Do not let it go, because if you do, then you're just lost. That gun will help you, for real. And you got the Peacekeeper, which is the best shotgun overall, but this is an heirloom drop gun. So, basically, you can go two shots to the head if you paste them. Like the peace choke. Or the choke. But if you really want to eat, um, hit fire as close as you can. It does the trick. I mean, you can snipe people from far. Like, watch this. 110 damage. Like, that's crazy. That's why it's the best. Everyone complains currently about the Mastiff. I don't know why. Uh, Mastiff is not that powerful. It's it's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. But it's not that powerful like the Peacekeeper. And we had that on the ground back then. So, right now, I'm going to be showing the Mastiff. These are all the shotguns right here. And this is the Mastiff, where which everyone complains about. And then everyone sleeps on this gun right here. here. It's 
pretty good now. And the Eva 8. Eva 8 here. So out of the shotguns, if you are skilled, then you're like the Mastiff and the Mozambique. If you're skilled. Because you can just do this. Get two people at a time. It's really good, you can ding the enemy in the head twice, which I'm not good at. Them. And it's two top to the head. If you get that, I don't rely on that all the time. You see, my aim is horrendous. But if I ever get close enough, like, let's say if I was opening a door. Oh wow. They would have been finished. But me and this gun don't get along. But I love the gun. Come on, don't get me wrong. So this is the EVA 8. Automatic, basically. You can hold down and spray. Does casing for you, or you can hit. Out. Still, does, still does damage. Beautiful amount of damage. And you got the master. I mean, not the masters. The Mozambique right here. Now, people sleep on this. If you ever pick this gun up. Um, just know you're not going to be doing that much damage until you pick Gotta this bad boy up. Hammer, hammer point. point rounds, that will save your life. You can snipe people, literally. This, that's, that's not showing you anything that the gun can really do. Let's just say if you had a person down and they're on the floor, let's just say they're right here. Let's move this way. And they're not, they don't have the shield up. Like one tab, you can finish them and get your job done for that. You can also hit people from far away with this, like, it's ridiculous, look. Like, what the hell? This is like sniping at that point. It's 15, but like, this, just imagine, they were like close to see, there's 30, 45. That's crazy. People sleep on this, though. That's far away, let's go to another. Uh, he was already damaged. Fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll just see a moment. Like, four bullets. Already down. Look at that. It's perfect. Perfect gun to use when you have hammer point rounds on it. Another gun that does that is P2020. Which I already showed you earlier as well. Let me go check out the comments real quick. What's up, Blobby? So basically, that's all I got to do. Run down out of all the guns. Legend wise, you're gonna be beginning from Bloodhound, Gibraltar, Lifeline, Pathfinder, Race, Bangalore, and then everyone else you gotta basically pay for. So out of the first six. Everyone likes to lean towards Wraith, Pathfinder, but the game's very different. So Bangalore, Gibraltar, Bloodhound, and Lifeline, they really do real good things, like team-wise. If you're a loner type person, then just go with Wraith, Pathfinder, and Bangalore. I mean, you can go with anybody, but overall, solo players always go with Wraith. It's just their thing. And they die all the time. Pathfinders, they like to get away real quick. But if you're going to buy anybody, like I said, any of these 10 that are down there, I would go with the Octane because he can self-heal and run fast. Revenant because he can get your players up regardless to respawn again with that little tomb thing and shut up people so like they can't use their powers. That's one thing I like. Um... Lobo, because you can steal shit. Horizon, because you can get away real quick. And Crypto and Watson. They're both tech. Um, one has like this little tome, this little tomb thing. I don't know what the hell to call it, but it gives you shield, which Watson does, and the robot, which can do EMP and scout for things, which is amazing if you love that, that stuff, that gameplay style. Me, I tend to have Octane and Revenant as my actual two ones that I'll actually buy those 10. But for you, that's completely different. I'd research them. But I'm going to get to the game real quick. And just for the stream. 
I just wanted to do a rundown for the entire welcoming guide basically uh, I know other youtubers will possibly do completely very well with it but I kind of just wanted to be the first one and actually like tell you which is which and what is good right now basically update you on the meta if you're not familiar with it damn bro my favorite guns are 300 Flatline out of assaults, you know. Uh, SMG is R99 Prowler. Um, out of the pistols, Wingman or RE45. And basically all the snipers, except for the charge. I don't, I don't need fucking it. I don't need to use that. You made the right choice this time. Anybody got a mic? No? Alright, I'm just gonna mute them because if they're not gonna talk, there's no point. That's another thing in Apex that y'all need is people with mics. So if you have a mic for your Switch, it's gonna be completely amazing. If you don't, then please rely on the ping system, which you can do a lot of things. You can double ping to tell where the enemies are or ping where you're going or hold the ping button and go around that, that entire menu and it just does a bunch of other things that you can say oh, for your teammates to like know. And my third person already left. Oh, I'm so got a good feeling about this area. What are you saying something? Oh my gosh. Oh I'm sorry love, what are you saying something? Here's a good spot Landing to in this right area here. yields a high probability for success. I feel most alive when rapidly approaching my Let's death. Do this. Okay, so I don't know what the hell we're doing. Great. <laughs> So I think I used to be a Wraith main, still am, but I love using every other character, try to get to know everything else. It's always the best thing to do, to be honest, so don't knock any character out, like actually try them all. But if you know how, how good you are with those characters, then you know, it's okay. Not everyone's good when they first start. Shit, I'm not even good myself. I'm still learning. All I know is this game is beautiful and I'm happy for you guys that are on Switch to get it to play along with us. Yeah, I really need a skill body. Hopefully we can get a win for the stream, because after this, I'm going to just end it there. Ah, gosh. Well, man, I just passed the body shield again. Like an idiot. Let's go this way. People have been through here. Just let you know. I don't know if they already been here. But one of them's coming. The other person I've muted so far. Attention. The champion has been moved by an enemy. Copy that. Alright, I'm gonna go around because like I don't know who she really pinging at. It seems to be in the direction anyway. So my thoughts of doing the entire guide on the stream, just because I don't have the time to edit, I might as well do everything, say everything, one, Ring's pretty close. One, one little video, get everything out the way. That's my reasoning. But if you want a full death and I'm going behind every weapon, like the flat iron and everything, then I can do that for you guys. Near, just leave a comment. It would just be way slower that way, to be honest. I got a lot of things to juggle in life, so. We should conduct a search right here. 
Heard that. 30 seconds. We are close. These people are just running away. Copy that. Alright, they're running towards me. Let's go. And then you got the cost of doing his little gas. Ooh, you down them. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see if I can help my teammates here. Oh, come on. There we go. He's thirsting the shit out of me. Oh, nope. My teammate died. And that's one thing he really needs. Communication. Um, unless if you depend on it. If you a solo player and just love going out and doing your own thing, then feel free. Not everyone plays, you know, team team oriented. But this is a team oriented game, so like, it's always good with connect communication. I just needed everybody though, so that was on my part. But I'm not really trying to like hear it and talk. I'm trying to talk to you guys. Yeah, it's it's a lame loss. And another thing, like, don't feel too bad. Everyone's going to lose. If you make the top three, just learn from every mistake that you do. Um, play. I mean, if you want to, rush. Fuck it. At that point. And once again, I, I got to meet the entire squad. So I'm playing solo at this point. But I'm trying to help as a team. I'm focused on the characters talking, what they're telling me. And footsteps, which audio is like a bit right now. I don't play as Octane at this point. At this point. Introducing your champion. I'm the Joe Master, which should go without saying. Let's land here. We should have a mind. Looks like bomb. No one flows. See where that portal is and everybody likes to go there. Another thing, you do not want to hot drop all the time unless if you're really trying to get good at confrontation all the time. Then go ahead. If you're really aggressive player, then do your thing. You already know. But if you're really starting for the first time, not the best thing to do. If you really want to get wins and stuff like that, if you're focused on that, if you really want to kill and stuff, then yeah, then do your thing. Right now I got this freaking teammate raiding everything. I'm gonna have to raid everything he does then. People firing. Round one. Focus on your maps. Next week, faster, faster, faster. Go hit up this building first and then go to the action. Since I'm basically alone, I'm in the predicament of not trusting my my teammates. They're not gonna come to save me. I'm not connected with any communication with them, so there's no point. I mean, there's always a point, but they're doing their own thing. I could probably like ding them, ding them. Oh, 
Oh, they got themselves fucking purple shields. Once again, excuse my profanity. I don't mean to. But, it's just the thing. I just do. This dude's not with us. Throwing thermite grenade. That's one thing, that's one thing. Ah! Damn it! You still got this one dude right here. Try to crawl to his revenant, Bless me with sight. or to this bloodhound. So hurry up and get me, or just die. They're gonna get us. They're gonna get us. Ah! Fuck this bro. No! Damn, I really was trying to run away, bro. Fuck. What a freaking loser, bro. And then, like, the Bloodhound was doing good. You know, he was with me, he was firing the same type of people. But then you got, like, the third player who just does his own thing. That's another thing, like, that fucks up the entire team. Like, what are you doing? But the bloodhound over there, he's taking care. Look at him doing work. He's really good. Oh, he's gonna die right here. He tried, bro. All right, back cutting back. Ultimate opponent. GGs. You tried. I think I'm about to just like leave again, play another game, and then just leave it on that foot. It's just horrible. I really didn't want to do a bad game first game, but nothing's ever going to be perfect. Uh, there we go. We leave because there's no point in watching. I'm not gonna watch that. I don't really care. Just go into another game. We do some handlock challenges. Another thing, if you really like doing the challenges and the battle pass and stuff like that, and you really want to get some cool things, those dailies will always get you up there fast. If you're really good at them, doing them get rid of them and then start playing to where you can what a loser let's go for a ride get ready today is not gonna be easy this experiment will get the job done the brothers from the incompetent come on little muti we've got work to do the pull toward disorder is relentless I embrace it Introducing your champion. Hopefully this goes good. We got enemies going here too. Another thing you want to do is check the surroundings where everybody was close. Enemy spotted. Far. We got the alternator right here. It's not a bad start. And you know what? So 
many. Hey, we got rewarded with the R301. Let's go. Next ring is distant. This time I won't be too aggressive. I'll try to stay with the team. That was horrible last game. Mm -mm. From that, charging on my shields. Something spotted. We've got 45 seconds. If you don't got robotic legs, you need to move. You're shooting at me. What the fuck, bro? I hate this shit. God damn it, bro. If it makes you feel <sighs> love you. That sucks. That's so garbage. Absolute garbage. So, like, I was playing yesterday on my friend's account, and that that happened. I'm gonna end it here because I don't have too much time to talk about the game, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Thank you for sticking by, thank you for watching, and coming by and asking questions and all that stuff during the stream. If you are here after the stream has went up and everything, thank you for coming by once again. Um, peace out.